one. Why sustainability? Well, as you know, Quest Forum is an ICT quality organization with a long history of improving quality for the art industry through a collaboration of TL9000 quality management system, benchmarking, networking, and best practice sharing. Uh, we have this unique collaboration where competitors actually get together and collaborate to make the industry better. And the proof is in the pudding, Trish, because in the last 16 years, companies that have certified to TL improve their performance for customers and lower their costs. And so uh, it does have a very strong proven track record. Now, why sustainability? Uh, Trish, this is becoming more and more important. The sustainability and quality are becoming linked. If you take a look at the industry today, um, how many smartphones are out there? I think my wife and I, between us, have eight devices and yet there's exploding around the world. There's just simply not enough rare earth minerals and materials to continue to meet the demand of this industry without strong sustainability stories and corporate social responsibility stories. Investors are starting to look at ethical companies who have a good story there. Those are all good reasons. But the bottom line is sustainability is just good business. It actually does make you more profitable and more efficient. So why now? Uh, some of our main members came to us and said, you know, we really want Quest Forum to look at this. That unique collaboration model could help turn the chaos into order that we're seeing in all the approaches to sustainability worldwide. And in fact, one of our main members uh, had a model they were working on with a consulting company. It was British Telecom. And they've developed what is a kind of a simple model that turns the chaos into order. It's uh, 10 succinct measures. Some of these models, Trish, have 200 measures that change every time you benchmark. And so they said, take this on Quest Forum, industrialize this model for us around the world. So we set out to do that with our model of benchmarking and et cetera. And uh, that's how this all got started. Two. of how companies engage and what it costs. As you know, Quest Forum is a nonprofit organization and we're funded by our memberships and sponsorships, but we don't worry about that inhibiting what we are, our vision to improve quality and sustainability. So any company can join at no cost. We don't charge companies to join. We hope they'll see value in their involvement with us in this initiative and will join and support. But the initiative is designed by the participants and it's for the participants and there is no charge for our benchmarking as a service. In terms of the types of companies, we have small companies, large companies, service providers, suppliers, tower companies all engaged because sustainability applies to literally any business. Right now we're keeping our focus on ICT, but pretty much anyone in ICT can participate. And we've actually seen some significant input from both the large and the small companies in setting direction, benchmarking, and getting value. Four. It's kind of exceeded our expectations, Trish. We uh, started small with a couple of companies and then started recruiting. And are we on a target to have 20 companies engaged by the end of 2015? You know, and that's you know doing really heavily engaged and, and helping us establish this and get it going in benchmarking. We're over 30 now, and it's actually growing almost every week. So we're very happy with the progress, and uh, and we do make it very easy for companies to come in and participate. Five. occurred to us, we were actually inspired by the best practice shared by one of our members on how much progress they've made, and we thought, why aren't we recognizing that publicly? Now, due to the an anonymous and, and uh, the nature of our benchmarking, we can't do that on our own. We have to have people volunteer to have their data shared. So what we decided to do was start rewarding some of the excellence we're seeing early on and some of the accomplishments of the participants. So we came up with two awards. One of the awards against the measures we've established, the benchmark, we've run studies since May of 2014 right through till now, and we're saying who's got the most improvement in that time frame? So where did you start and where did you end in that time period and who had the most improvement? Now, to participate in the competition for the award, the company agrees to share their data because it is theirs and it is anonymous other than that. And that data has kept strict confidence in the staff at Questform and not shared with anyone the actual data. Then we said, and who's just got the best overall score of all your scores? And so we've run a contest, had numerous companies compete and some very amazing results. 
And so I can't tell you what they are yet, but we are going to be an, we're going to be announcing the two winners at our conference September 15th in San Diego. Very excited. We're going to do press releases, and this is something a nice award that companies can put in their trophy cabinet to say we've put a stamp on our um, progress on sustainability, been recognized for it. Yeah, there's, there's a couple of reasons we're doing that. One is to recognize the excellence and contribution the members and, and participants have made. But the other one is to get the word out. Because sometimes at Quest Forum, what we do is a best kept secret. And so this is an opportunity to get the industry's attention and say, we've got something good happening here. Come and participate.